Hello everyone, welcome to a new video dedicated to the Skull Merchant. You're gonna see many Skull Merchant contents in the next future. So um, today I'm gonna show you many games that I played with uh, a new build, totally focused on chases, uh, also considering the updates that we are gonna see with the next patch, uh, where basically all the main Jane's slowdown perks are going to be heavily nerfed. So, let's try to give a look to the build that I'm playing, and then uh, let's give a look to the game themselves. The first perk is Bamboozle. Basically, you vault the windows a bit faster, and uh, uh, the window is blocked for 16 seconds. You can block only one window every time you vault with Bamboozle. Save the best for last. Uh, every time you hit uh, someone who's not the obsession with a basic attack, you get a 5% decrease of cooldown speed. Uh, for your uh, main attack and you can earn up to eight tokens so in this way you are able to catch up uh, after a hit on survivors a lot more often and a lot more easily corrupt intervention to have a better start uh, and to have the possibility of uh, having a better map control at the beginning of the game three generator Three generators located farthest from you are blocked by the entity for 120 seconds at the start of the trial. Kind of easy to explain. Uh, basically, a meta perk. The last perk is Enduring, uh, and it reduced the duration of pallet stance by 50%, and I found a huge value for the Skull Merchant, considering a new base kit and the add-ons that I'm going to show you. My favorite add-ons are randomized strobes, survivors that enter a drone active zone suffer from a 5% hinder status effect for 3 seconds, and geographical readout while in a drone active zone gain a 2% status effect and a 15% action speed bonus to breaking pallets and breakable walls, uh, damaging generators and vaulting. These effects basically stuck with the bamboozle and you have a faster vaulting speed. Not only this, but the effects linger for 15 seconds after leaving the area. So basically, our main playstyle is going to be really chase oriented uh, and um, we are going to see how this is rewarding especially against good teams and uh, survivors who are really optimal at uh, generators. I'm going to show you many games uh, in this video, I hope you're going to have fun, I'm going to review a game that I recorded off stream because I saw and recognized many good players that uh, I really wanted to see in action and like the game was really entertaining and fun in my opinion and I hope that you can enjoy it as well. Let's immediately start! Okay, so this is a really hard game that I had in uh, public lobbies of stream, like uh, I got uh, a team of uh, really good survivors. The map uh, thankfully was... Uh, RPD, well, I don't know if thankfully, because actually you're gonna see how some pallets are uh, really problematic to manage a player. And like, this is a really good team, they were in SWF, um, and um, they were actually really, really good. Like, they know how to play with each other, and uh, they are really experienced players. Like, uh, one of them is the Lonely Boy, the one Lonely Boy. Uh, spirit player, but uh, also really good survival player, like uh, impressive player. Then uh, Leechy Junior, P1 and Jonah, and they are after amazing as well. So we're gonna see like uh, this first chase. Like you can already notice how one of these pallets is actually really really strong. Even for skull merchant, they can be actually kind of problematic to, man to manage it, even for her. You know, I don't know why this map is considered in general absolutely good for her, but I don't think it's uh, uh, actually one of her best. It's a map where you can put pressure from different uh, floors, but at the same time like uh, the drones can be so far from um, the generator they're working on, so uh, they can just choose to take the um, exposed and uh, like uh, completely ignoring to remove the drone. It's like, you know, like if you get the demonstration from really far, you're not gonna stop them anymore. Yeah, we got a really interesting value from the drone that helped us at managing this uh, dot pallet, because the pallet is really, really strong. One of them, like, we already removed one of these. Uh, this one is still up because, like, we got them before we could uh, throw it. And you can see how they already popped a few gems, like they are 
not bad at all, they don't waste any second. <coughs> and we have to try to be as optimal as possible and um, having the shorter chase chases we can. So, we tried uh, to chase Jonah, but at the same time, we um, continued that we are playing with, say, the best for last, so they have much more priority, they removed the, the drone here. This is the best situation for you, like, uh, well, the best situation is like them uh, missing the skill check and uh, basically uh, giving you a, a free down, but uh, this is not bad at all as well. Because like uh, you get the extra speed boost, uh, they get the claw trap to continue the chase. Uh, so basically, what you have to do in this kind of situation is waiting to see what they are going to do. As a survivor, uh, I wouldn't uh, attack a drone in front of her because like basically it's a win-win situation. Like if you, um, if uh, they get it exposed, basically. Uh, of course, like they are one shot and it's uh, a free hook or a free slug. If they don't get the one shot, like they give you the speed booster from the cloth trap, uh, they get a free hit because like you, you are able to hit them after they get the, the drone. No? And um, at the same time, you can continue the chase on someone who has a dissolution for free for 45 seconds. So, after this is your ideal situation. This uh, Adam is up really, really good. Here, yeah, the auto aim <laughs> chose a pallet over Adam, and uh, like uh, it will get a free big distance because that's a fast, but it's uh, a lot of distance. If you're able to get a stun, even with the building. As I said, like this map is not uh, super easy uh, as. Uh, a skull merchant or as I want to like, like even if you pressure from uh, more floors, okay, it's not a super easy map. This pallet is a bit easier to manage. Uh, we got uh, another good chase, uh, that's good. We have someone uh, on second phase. Uh, most likely here I'm going to lose a gem. They are trying to attack a main because they know how important it is the general main. After the kicking, I don't know how good the whole idea was. Like, I think that uh, maybe instead of chasing and dropping a drone maybe could be better. Like, I didn't play this game perfectly. Um, I still uh, say I'm still learning. Like, uh, uh, I'm working to be. Um, Really good and scary skull merchant, but like uh, I think that we need uh, obviously more time to do this kind of stuff. Here we risk it to be robbed of another hit thanks to the auto aim. The auto aim is gonna be really important in this match uh, in a second uh, moment. Like they do this kind of fake uh, here that uh, actually I like to do as well. Here I wasted a bit of time. I oh, oh, I wish that I could get that. But we got other value from the random my shots here. So. And from the extra speed that we got uh, from both the geographical readout and then stay in the, um, in the range of the drum. So it made that palette, but it's not a super strong palette, but it can be really good for uh, experienced players who play like this. You can see how the good they are basically uh, to play these ballads. And it helped us a lot. Like uh, every extra second so that we can save is utterly uh, important. Adam missed uh, one uh, of uh, the skill checks. That is, uh, means that we can go for uh, an insta down chase and in. We take one of the drones here because like, uh, we want as we chase. Here I couldn't hear the drop of the flashbang, but this was a really good drop, basically. Here I could play this definitely better. Yeah, like, uh, as I said, like, they are actually impressive players. Here it should be a down, if you play it correctly. And yeah, this is a down. Like they are really, really good. Like in the ends of the players map, uh, even uh, the less safe loops so can actually create problems to, uh, 
to every kind of healer. Well, mm, not sure if every kind of healer, but too many healers. Here we have the Nia that was uh, uh, already twice, so basically trying to close the chase on air would be really important. Um, Jonah is uh, not uh, totally an experienced, so I think the Inotives will say the best and most of the hard will say the best. But the most important is trying to protect the teammate with the Donok. And we can see how basically they're gonna do it now. I choose to try to commit to the chase of Nia because uh, if I can get there, like I can have a comeback and I can have a better, uh, a better end of the game. Yes. Even with the uh, randomized drops and with uh, the X that we not able to capture, these are two keep showing you how this map basically can still create problems to um, <clears throat> to the Skull Merchant, even if you can pressure the Jets from uh, a monitor. They are playing really protective with Amnia, they know that the Amnia is a Dejonuk and uh, having another survival alive is important. This situation confused me basically. Like the scratch marks, I, yeah, like I, I think that the, there are a lot of things that they still have to work on. <laughs> but like, uh, I repeat, like this is a match that is after all the control the skill of the other side. Yeah, we should be able to get Adam. Not really, but like we are gonna be able to keep him, keep him there. He actually overestimated the, or underestimated our speed. Oh, then uh, or I just think that they randomized service because I think that the effort was over basically. But uh, definitely he underestimated our speed. We get to the first uh, kill uh, on him after it's the end. Now you say <coughs> okay the game is in your hands because like basically it's a few we won, no? And basically it had to be like that, but there are well one gem left, and like there are there is a mistake of me that uh, is gonna be able to punish that this pallet here that was still not about the um, This game could be definitely or a 3K or a 4K, like it could do definitely better. The main problem is how they still have pallets like this. Like if you break, uh, if you waste time only breaking one of these pallets, uh, you can see how much progress there is on the gem. Like you lose uh, definitely the free case situation. Especially if uh, you smell adrenaline uh, in, and like I can't definitely expect an adrenaline play from uh, this survival. Here I was really confused by what happened, and it, here I got auto aimed. <laughs> here I got auto aimed. I wanted to lunge and I. And like this situation basically destroyed completely my end game. You, you see how much uh, you have to go around the map to basically travel to, from a gem to another one. It's a, a real pity, like, uh, yeah, personal mistake, and uh, like, uh, because of, like when I was confused at the beginning after the pallet breaking. You have to consider that this was the first game of the day for me, <laughs> and uh, like I just woke up. <laughs> so if I made uh, like uh, some mistakes of tracking, that can be a reason. But uh, like uh, mistakes are still mistakes, of course. And here they have hope. Like uh, I can uh, spoil this to you. So if this is one of the reasons why you cannot catch them, uh, especially without the extra speeds. So yeah, this is going to be a 2k, they played the, this really well, I think that if I got uh, a hit on the Nia... Uh, I, at the beginning I said I could 4k, but most likely I could 3k, like 3k I think it would be the 4k, if uh, the Jonah would be generous, if, uh, not generous at least, if, but like uh, they played the this really really well, and I think that considering everything, Uh, the game uh, was actually a positive game. 
I wanted to show a game where I don't win, <laughs> uh, but uh, still well played by both sides. And uh, please uh, check out for these players because uh, they are really, really interesting and good. Also because uh, I seriously think that you can have an increase of chases uh, over uh, strategical gameplay. Because like uh, you are gonna have uh, a bigger will at committing than at... Uh... That's my obsession, that's why I'm not engaging the chase. But, uh, you know what, I... Wow, you're brave. Uh, I want uh, him. Balance? No. I should have a fast enough chase with him. Zarina, and I don't really care about Zarina, and then we have uh, people there. This is a lot more important gen to protect. I want to attack uh, R2, okay, she wants to press it, yes, yeah, I'm fine at it. It's better if I jump like it. But for now I have to stop uh, that fun mini mini. Like, it's not a lot, but uh, it's honest job, as uh, the mean says. This is all uh, extra pressure that we are getting on. And she's dead again. I think they did the main. Okay. This game is hard. They are kinda gen lovers. So what we are going to do is now focusing on the people we already used. Yeah, we are gonna focus people who are already on the so we need uh, Talita and uh, Ace again. These people are playing up now. They are kind of trying to win. Like, you see why the current meta is not okay. Now, what I want is uh, Ace again, because like, I need him. He's still here, he came back there. If I can get him fast enough, it's good. But I think I cannot. We have a, a Zarina with um, the exposed, so if we can chase basically both, 
it's positive, otherwise we go for uh, Talita. She's gonna use that uh, pallet there, I think. Now we have to pressure that gem. Zarina takes the pingy, it's a mistake for her. Because like an Issa down plus dissolution, it's good for me. Also Zarina in this condition is uh, positive. Because uh, she uh, it's my obsession. So they are hard for committing gems, I see. Defend this second phase. This drone was positioned really bad, so I'm gonna position it here. In this case, I cannot play it. Greedy. Two. One less. We have basically two people that are not. One is a uh, farming, the other one is a uh, ace. I thought that Tatalita was dead, but I think to know why she wasn't dead, best. Okay, and... Hey, so you are the Dunk as well. Look how bitch you are. 
look at it, it's better for me because in this way you die closer to the jump. I mean, I can just stay there. They're not gonna make it. So uh, and then, thank you so much for the follow. Here. Welcome here. Welcome. Thank you uh, for the follow, for the raid. Uh, how was your stream, Lolly? Sorry, everyone, it was kind of focused because, like, this was a really hard game. I want to put it here because, in this way, I have a bigger radius. Where they are, if they go there. How was your stream, Lowly? And uh, I joke some extra with you. I mean, I can refuse to die on the hook, but uh, it's still a 4k for me. So. Thank you for the shout out, I appreciate it, of course, Lolly. How are the games going? Well, this was a really hard game. Played with the no slowdowns and stuff. Oh, 
I mean, you can die on the floor. Like, it's not a, my problem. better about the survivors fire and the we have fun. That's important. The important thing is that we have fun. <laughs> the idea of putting the drone there to know when uh, the slug will try to go out, like it was amazing. This was a really hard team. This is a game for YouTube. It can recover in a few days. I I hope so, Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> 